What's up you guys, Josh here, also known as Harry Tornado. Today's video, I wanted to do a what's sold video showing you guys everything that I've sold on eBay since last week. However, I had a lot of sales last week. It, it, it would be a very, very long video. So I'm sort of tinkering with the idea of breaking it into two parts. Like going forward, I might do a video on Fridays showing you guys what I've sold from Monday until Friday. And then I might do a video on Monday showing you what I've sold from Friday afternoon until Sunday night. Honestly, I don't know. It's just a lot of sales for one video and I don't wanna post like a 30 or 40 minute video showing you what I've sold. So instead of doing that today, I decided to go to the thrift store. I took my GoPro with me. I went to the regular Goodwill store and then I went to the Goodwill bins where you buy things by the weight and actually had a great day of thrifting. I spent just about $65 everywhere altogether and I don't even know how much profit I have yet. So let's get into the footage at the thrift store and then I'll meet back up with you guys in a second and show you exactly what I got and kind of give you a better idea of what I think I can sell it for. Coming up. So as you just saw, I got a ton of stuff, so I'm gonna be super fast in this haul video, so just stick with me. First few things I picked up at the regular Goodwill are these Brooks running shoes right here. These are men's Ravenna 7. Uh, Brooks is kind of hit or miss. These were only $6.50 and they're in very good condition. So I think I can probably get about 25, maybe 30 bucks for these. And then these, uh, these are women's walking shoes from Prevo. I'm pretty sure Prevo is made by Clark's. Not 100% sure, but I think so. I do have one pair of these already listed, I think for like $35 with free shipping. Uh, and these are also in very, very good condition. So paid $6.50 for these, and I think I'll probably list these for about $35 with free shipping. So no home runs on these two pair of shoes, but really solid shoes, really good condition, and you know, spend 13 bucks to maybe make about 60 to 70. Then I picked up this other pair of shoes. At first they looked like Vans or something like that, but then I noticed this logo on the back. This is a Healy logo. These are the shoes with the little wheels on the bottom that I used to have when I was in like seventh or eighth grade. Awesome shoes, very, very fun. These are youth size six. Uh, I do have another pair of Heelys listed, but they're like brown and white and they have a very, very thick tongue. Because these are more neutral and just, I just don't look as flashy, I think these will have a better chance of selling. These shoes were only $4.75 and I think I can get about 30 bucks for them. I got this teen study Bible. It's in very, very good condition. Uh, the retail price on it was $30, as you saw in the video down there somewhere. And uh, I think I'd probably get like 10, 15 bucks for it. 
With Q4 coming up, I'm constantly on the lookout for new in-box items. I did find this Carolina Gamecocks football helmet thing from R Riddell? Riddell? I don't know. Uh, I did pay up for this. It was $8.92. However, I think I can get about $25, maybe $30 for it on eBay. And Amazon was about $20, $25 as well. So because it's college football season and Carolina is doing decent this year, I think I'll be able to at least double my money on this. I got this paper recycling thing. I don't really know what it is, but it's new in the package. Scanned it and it looks like it's selling for about 15 bucks. And this was only $1.92. I usually pass on appliances and things like that just because I don't really know much about them. But I found this Oyster, Oysterizer 14 speed blender uh, and I just noticed that it has everything with it. It has the base, has the, the actual blender thing, has the lid and the little pusher thing. And they only wanted $4.92 for this. So I tried it out in the store. It does work. Um, I'm not sure if I will sell this as a whole unit or part it out. You, um, the base sells for about 15 to 20. This glass container probably sells for about 15 to 20 and the lid and pusher thing sell for about 10 to 15. So I'll probably just list it all together just to be easy and maybe ask about 35 bucks for everything plus shipping. Here's something I've literally never thought about picking up before. It's just a really cute birdhouse. It says bed and breakfast. Uh, I do need to redo the little railing because the railing is loose, but uh, I just thought it was very, very cute. It was $4.92 and uh, again, in very good condition. It doesn't look like there's ever been birds in it. It does have some water damage on the bottom, but I don't think that'll be a huge issue. Uh, again, $4.92, and maybe I get like 25 bucks for it plus shipping. Another new in-box item I found was this uh, 20 questions game thing. I usually pick these up at the bins if I see them, because open box, you can probably get like 10 to 12 bucks for them. But new in the package, I could sell this on Amazon. I'm not, I don't remember how it's, I'll, I'll put the Amazon price here, uh, but I'm assuming new in the package, you can probably get like 15 to 20 bucks for it. Uh, and this was only $1.92. And then finally, I got this Charleston Threads men's polo shirt. It's really interesting because it's a complete, like, totally button-up shirt, like all the way button-up, but it's like a polo material. Uh, and also, the good thing about this is it has a Steinmart tag on there. Original price was $69, and their price was $29. Uh, I paid $4.75 for this, so I can probably ask about 20 bucks for it, plus shipping. So that's everything I got at the retail Goodwill store, so now let's move on to the bins. Grab a bag from you.
So if you don't know, I call it the Goodwill Bins, but the actual name of the store is the Goodwill Outlet. And it's where Goodwill sends their older inventory or, or surplus inventory that they can't fully process. And you buy everything by the weight. You basically just fill up your bag and then they weigh it and you pay $1.39 per pound. I got a bunch of hats. Nothing is like a big home run. My favorite is probably this Yoshi hat. It's in really good condition and it is Super Mario brand. And it's got the little Yoshi under the bill. Um, again, probably paid 25 cents for this and maybe you can get 15 for it. The Sierra hat, it says Sierra the Bulletsmith. So I'm assuming it's like a, a weapons company that makes bullets uh, in very, very good condition and maybe get like 10 to 12 bucks for it. I got this Jimmy John's hat, it's employee hat fitted. It's a very nice hat. It's like the 3930 brand. The size is small to medium. Um, you know, throw this up on eBay, probably get 10 to 12 bucks for it. North Carolina Tar Heels hat, which was really interesting because it was red. It does have the, you know, the typical blue logo here, but I've never seen a red one before. Also, it is a starter brand, which is really good. And it's the, uh, the starter, the right hat. Um, again, paid about 25 cents for this. Maybe me get like 15 to 18 for this one. Found this, uh, Myrtle Beach hat. It is very ugly, uh, but somebody might like it. I might get eight to 10 bucks for it. And the ugliest hat I bought was this vintage Kmart, just really, really ugly Kmart hat. Uh, I don't really know why I bought this. I don't know why anybody would want a Kmart hat, but I'm sure that Kmart will go completely out of business one day. Uh, so maybe this will be more valuable at that time. I don't know. And with women's clothing, I generally stay away from it just because I don't really know what I'm looking at. But I found this skirt and uh, it's just got a, it's like a felt, I don't know, it's just got a textured material and I thought it was interesting. It is a uh, East Fifth branded skirt, size eight, and it's got a little zipper on the side. In very good condition, it's kind of long. If I can get 25, 20, 25 bucks for it, that'd be pretty good. These Don Joy arm slings, I've sold two of these, I believe. Um, they look kind of complicated, but they're not that hard to figure out. Everything is just, you know, Velcro hook and loop. Uh, this is the Don Joy Ultra, Ultra Sling 3. Um, I think I've sold these for like 25, 20 to 25 bucks a piece. And they're really light, so at the Goodwill it was probably less than a dollar. I found this Don Joy back brace. It's got the adjustable straps with the, uh, I don't really know how it all works, but you pull this and it like tightens up the back. Uh, these are a little bit harder to list just because it's kind of hard to take a good picture of something like this. Uh, but I could probably get about 25, maybe 30 bucks for this once I, once I get it listed. I found this Oster uh, blender lid thing. Uh, probably not worth too much money, but because it was so light, it was less than 50 cents. And it has a little pusher thing too. Um, so somebody out there on eBay is probably looking for this. I could probably get 10 to 15 bucks for this. I got some softball pants for myself. I've been looking for softball pants forever because I always wear shorts to my softball games. And then when I slide, I skin up my legs. So these are uh, adult medium. A little, uh, little tight on the butt, you know, but uh, heck, gotta, gotta give the crowd something to look at because they're certainly not coming for our softball skills. <laughs> Found this uh, power lifting GPI belt thing. Uh, it's like one of those belts you put around your waist when you're lifting. I have no idea what it's worth. Maybe 15, 20 bucks. Uh, I don't know, but it was very cheap. Probably less than a dollar. This is probably one of the coolest finds I found at the bin. This is a men's Blackhawk tactical belt, size large USA. Uh, it's like a, you know, it's got a nice little belt buckle there. You put it in and then strap it on and, and Velcro it to your side. I'm not sure what this is worth because I haven't looked it up yet, but I imagine I could get 20, maybe 25 bucks for it. Picked up this bag. I've never heard of this brand before. It's, it's Chow. I, I think that's Chow. Uh, it was just in very good condition. I didn't see any rips or tears. Um, no holes, all the zippers work. It's a very clean bag. Um, other Chow branded bags have sold between 25 and 35 bucks. I couldn't find this exact model, uh, but I'll probably list this for like 35 plus shipping, turn on best offer, and you know if I eventually get 25 bucks for it, that'd be pretty good. So this is uh, an Excelled men's, uh, like it's like a Letterman's jacket, but it's black and there's no patches on it. So the only other blank Letterman's jacket I've ever found was like gray and garnet, uh, and it didn't have any patches on it, and I think I sold that for like 40 bucks. Um, this does not have a materials tag in it anywhere. I, I've looked on the inside. I don't know if it was cut out or what. Um, it just says made in USA and size medium. So, you know, I've, I've held a lot of materials before, and this, I'm 99% sure this is leather. Um, but I'm probably not going to list it as leather. I'm probably going to put in the description that, you know, I'm 99% sure it's leather, but there's no materials tag. So I don't want to, I just don't want to list this as leather and then somebody buy it and then they'd be disappointed that it's not leather. Um, 
so again, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's frustrating that there's no size tag, but you know, that's what you get when you get vintage items like this. But still, even at the bins where things were the weight, this is still pretty heavy. It's probably like three and a half, maybe four pounds. So this is probably four or five dollars or so. Uh, but being black and no patches, anything like that, I think I can get about 60 to $80 for this. I didn't really find any home run items today, but these small bread and butter items are really what keep your business going. Again, I spent about $65 on everything altogether, and I should see a total sales amount of maybe $300 to $320, somewhere around there. It was certainly not the best thrifting trip I've ever had, but it was a really solid morning for spending you know, about an hour and a half in these Goodwill stores altogether. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Drop some comments down below. Let me know if you have any questions about anything I picked up today or any questions in general. I'll do my best to help you guys out. But with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Wow, wow.